All right, in this next video, I'm going to explain to you how to come up with the design and get a rough sketch for the idea for your color wheel. Here's, here's a couple different examples of what we're going to be doing. You should also have a handout, and that will also be on my big campus with all the requirements of this color wheel. I don't want to go through that step by step. That's something you can read. All right, so let's go really quick. Some of the requirements, just so you're aware of it. We got 12 equal spots, which we just drew out in the last video. And in each spot, you're going to put a color of the color wheel. So these inside areas right here are all the original hues. For instance, red, red, orange, orange, yellow, orange, yellow, yellow, green, green, so on. All right. And in each section that we divide it up, you will have to show the shade of that value or that hue. And then you also have to show the tint of that hue somewhere in that section. And then on the outside of the negative space or in a space, you will also have to write words that describe that color. So this is, for instance, red orange. So you can write red orange. You can write that it's a warm color. You can write that it's an intermediate color. Maybe uh, it reminds you of a pumpkin. Okay, so you would write different things that remind you of that color. And you would want to do that in a creative way also. So what we need to do is come up with a creative design to put in here to show off our color wheel. So uh, what you have to do for your requirement is at least do three different design examples in three of the pies. Okay, you can do more than that. And then we'll choose which ones uh, that you'll use for your final when you give me these designs. So how can you divide this up? Very easy. You just come up with some different ideas. If you want to do like a letter or something that corresponds uh, with your name or just even a word and then do like a little motif inside here. I call these motifs little icons that go along with it. You can do that too. All right, please be careful on the hearts and the stars. I'm not a big cutesy person, not a big fan of anything that's in the Lucky Charms box. So uh, please try to kind of stay away from that. All right, so how do I divide this up? Well, I know I have to have at least four different sections in here because I have to have the original hue, I have to have a tint of that color, I have to have a shade of that color, and then I have to have some space for my words. So four different areas need to be divided in here. So let's say I wanted to do something like flames. So I want to do some uh, different fire flames in here. Okay, so I could do that, and then maybe I want to continue kind of that motif going through here so it's a continuous design all right and then maybe I want the fire to come the other way this way all right so there's my own design it doesn't have to look like anything in particular then I've got to decide okay what do I want do I want my tint here so I do let's say this is going to be my red so I'm going to put red right in here you need to label this so you understand how you're doing it then let's say I want to do my tint of red here. Your tint doesn't always have to be in the inside. That's up to you. And then I'm going to put my shade of red here. And then this is going to be my negative space where you can put words. Okay, so when I paint this in, paint this the original color, this will be the tint of that color, and this will be the shade of that color. All right. Now you've got to come up with some different designs for each. So be creative. Maybe I want to do my letter. Uh, since it's V, maybe I want to put that in here, and then maybe I want to come up with uh, something kind of interesting that goes with that design, so maybe I want to do a V the other way, and then there's a design within that, and then I'm just coming up with something really, really quick here. So here's an area, here's an area, here's an area, and here's an area. So let's go, I want my original color here, so this will be, let's say, red-orange, so R. Oh, let me zoom in on this just a little bit. All right. And then let's say I want to do my tint of red-orange here. And then do my shade of red-orange here. All right. And then this would be my words. All right. And then you come up with a third one. All right. So come up with your own ideas on this. Now, once we decide this, which one we like. Let's say I like this one the best. You and I agree we're going to use this design. And you're thinking, do I have to redraw this every single time in here? Well, no, you do not. Okay. This is where the tracing paper comes in. So get a piece of tracing paper out. All right. Go over the top of this and make your design. 
and trace over that design you just did. And you want to do this heavy with pencil. This has to be done with pencil. Okay, and you want to do it heavy on this. So I'm retracing my design and how it goes right in there. And then what you do is you just take that and you flip it. Okay, so now the pencil marks on this tracing paper down. I want to match this up and then I'm going to go over that heavy again with pencil. This is important that you do it with pencil. If you do it with pen, it's going to take you longer. And when you trace over this design, I'm going to trace over the whole thing here real quick, it will press down the pencil line underneath and transfer that design. But you got to hit the line. I'm going really fast. I'm missing the line a little bit. But see, then there's a light outline. Then what you do is you just keep flipping it. Okay? And you would go all the way around. That way you don't have to redraw it. Now, here's something you can do if you want. If you want, you can come up with a different design. Let's say you want to do this flame design for your primary colors. And then I want to do this for my secondary colors. And then do another design for your intermediate. Or let's say I want to do the flame design for my primary and secondary. And then I want to do this for my intermediate. So if I did that, then I could repeat this flame in the every other one. Okay, so this would be my primary, intermediate, and then it's going to be a secondary. This should be orange. And then I can keep alternating those. And you would do that by using the tracing paper. Okay, if you have any questions, uh, please let me know. Remember, you have to get three designs, different designs on here, and kind of figure out where you're going to put the original hue, the tint of the color, the shade of the color, and where you're going to put your words. And we will decide which one we think is the most creative and will work the best. You can also, if you want, extend these out all the way to the end of your paper, okay, like they have done on theirs, and use that as part of your negative space. That is totally up to you. If you want to stay inside the circle, you can do that. Let me zoom this back out. I'll show you this as an example. Okay, so they've used the whole space, or like I said, stay in the circle. These are the only two examples that I have right now. There's some other examples on my big campus if you want to look for some different ideas. All right, you need to watch the other videos to uh, figure out how to paint, how to mix your paint, and how to clean up.